Today I'm gonna make some music. It's about time. I hope this works. What's up, Mighty Nest? Last time I tried to make music on the stream, something crazy happened with the game show not recording it or something like that. So today I'm trying to make sure it's it's all it looks like it's you guys are getting sound. Can you guys hear that? It's going good. Yeah, so I'm gonna remix this song. Hopefully this works. I think it is. Loud and clear, right on. Okay, so especially right here at this part in the middle, um, here's the kick, here's the drums, here's the cymbal, here's this wow wow noise. This is what I'm talking about. This is sort of the melody of the song. Wait, no, this is not it. This one is totally disabled. This one must be it. That's one of them. I think there's two subs. Arcane, Rocket Bunny, what's up? Yeah, that's a chorus noise. Okay, then there's this background creepy noise. So you guys see what I'm working on? Alex Pita! So yeah, I'm working on, this is level one's music. I'm gonna remix this a little bit and try and create a, a an alternate level one music. And then I'm gonna create, I'm gonna try and create like a level two remix as well, something like that. Just have some more variety in the music and the levels right now. Uh, but yeah, so there's this stone creepy noise here at the top. This is the top track. There's this sub. There's this other sub, I'm gonna play them together. You got this chorusy noise. If I turn on my sound, it shouldn't turn up your guys' sound. Is that correct? Yeah, it doesn't look like my sound volume affects your guys' sound volume. That's good. You're working on homework like a boss right now? Yeah, Arcane. Yeah, this is Ableton. This is the old Ableton. What's up, Pedro? Fifth. Fifth. Claim it, man. Yeah, this is Ableton 8. This is the Ableton 8 uh, suite version or whatever. It cost me like 500 bucks back in the day. And they don't... Uh, they don't... They don't give you upgrades, so you can't. You, I would have to pay like another freaking three hundred bucks or something like that to upgrade this to level to version nine, which is I think is the newest, unless they have a newer version now. But anyways, I'm just gonna stick with version eight. You finished Dark Souls, right on. I forget what this noise was. Oh yeah. It's a cool noise at first. Okay, and then there's this kick. Really simple, wet kick. And there's this symbol. Money bags, how many hits? How many hits did you take in Dark Souls? Okay, so this the most important thing I wanna change is this sub. This is like the melody of the song. Not exactly change, but I just wanna make it so. Um, this melody, is different when it gets to this part of the song because it stays exactly the same. Four hours, 30 minutes, right on. I'm thinking I'm gonna experiment with this. This is gonna be crazy, but whoops. Not new track. How do I split? Command E, that's right. It's been a minute since I've worked in Ableton. Wow. Okay, so I'm, what I've got here is I'm soloing these two subtracks and I'm duplicating. Whoops, I almost started doing Photoshop shortcuts. I'm thinking Photoshop over here. 
All right, uh, yeah, right here, I'm gonna try creating a different subtract completely. Because I wanna play with the actual noise that's going on in the sub that's being generated. Nice. What kind of modding did you do to Skyrim? Rise of the Tomb Raider. Right on. Whoa, 33 hours. Whoa. <laughs> As there is. As there is. Maybe it's not time for you to try it then. Maybe maybe you're maybe you're in the mode where all you got to do is just Watch other people do it. Absorb how they're doing it. And then a year later, you come back to trying to write music and all of a sudden, bam, everything comes to you. That's how, I don't know, that's how it's always been for me. Like, I didn't know how to make music at first. It was like, oh my God, what am I doing trying to fly an airplane? But now it's just natural, easy. Okay, so I want to play with this. This is where it's going to look confusing, you guys, because I'm going to go into Massive. But it's really not that confusing. This is just a this is a synthesizer. This thing generates sounds, and it generates them basically off of three different oscillators. And you can see in this oscillator or in this sound I've got here, this acid raw. Let's just let's highlight only one of these. It just goes woo woo woo, and it goes woo. Okay, uh, the envelope on this, probably either the amp, which is four, this thing is what gives it a lot of its character. If I change its release a lot, maybe that's not what it gives us the character. No, it's not really the release, but let's try the attack. No, this, must, this isn't doing anything. Let's play with the, the oscillators. Lighting. And every dragon is a macho man. Why isn't this doing anything? Okay, it is. Maybe two. What's two? Wave? Oh, that's cool. You can tell what resonance is doing to the sound. There's resonance right here. It gives it this sound. So I'm going to turn the resonance way down. I'm liking this. Oh, that's cool too. Let's see what it's like with some dimension. See, dimension gives it a little bit of chorus. You can hear some reverb going on. But it's really slight. Either that or I turned it off. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> so I was like, do you guys hear that? But it wasn't even on. Let's... Oh, there. So you can clearly hear Dimension now. See, I don't like that at all. I really don't like reverb in my, my music that much. Radio. Stealing points. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it... Wow. I like it with about half radio. That's cool. Filter on the attack. No, we, oh, the filter on the attack is what gives it that initial... Wait. Yeah, see that? The 
more filter on the attack, the more it, it comes in slowly. Cool fact, Zelda level 1 levels were built to fit together like a puzzle to preserve memory. Uh, yeah. Filter decay. Whoa. This gives it so much more character. Oh, I love it. And let's play around a lot with this one here too, this other sub. Let's hear them together. Okay, okay, what I really wanna change about this is I wanna change it to be a different melody. I'm gonna experiment with a crazy chorus going on here, or a crazy chord. Cause this is gonna be, this is originally using an A and a, and a D. I'm gonna try something else. Maybe. I mean, same key, but something else completely. Say, Wizard, what, for the non-programmers moments, what's the GL draw calls you tweeted all about? What does that do in the game? Oh, it makes it faster, man. Yeah. And it's going to make it more efficient. So I should be able to run it. Let's just see what happens, actually. If I run the game at 60 frames a second now, let's see, let's see if my, my laptop actually starts its fan. Because the game basically it does all these draw calls. These things are what? Okay, so I'm trying to run at 60 frames a second right now. And um, and there's game show running, which is recording full screen, you know, and sending that all up to the stream. So my computer's working hard here. So hopefully it should start its, if it doesn't start its fan, then that means it's really improved. What's up, Red Sands? Yeah, it's already starting to... It's already starting to kick in its fan. But way less than it used to. So when I used to stream and do 60 frames a Or try and do 60 frames a second, the fan was really loud. Now it's very, very quiet. That's cool. And also, let's see if I go into an, a room where there's really not a lot going on. There's a hell of a lot less draw, draw calls here. And hopefully this, the fan on my computer will actually either turn off or, or decrease a little bit. This is, really, this is really how I measure the performance of my GPU. Really, I have not found any good profiling tools for GL, on, at least on Mac. Maybe there is something on Windows. So many GL calls? You think there's so many now? Oh, dude, you should have seen yesterday. Okay, okay, Azarus, not I'm totally joking, or not joking. I'm serious here, man. Yesterday, there was 1,600 GL draw calls in this very room right here. 1,600 draw calls. Now there's 200. So yeah, basically the game is a hell of a lot more efficient. It will be better for streamers. It'll be better for everybody that's playing the game because you'll be able to stream the game at higher resolutions without it really affecting the performance of your computer. Got to get that down by another 200. I can get it down. I can get it down farther, but that's a huge improvement already. 1600 down to 12, 200. Yeah, but anyways, okay, let's keep on working on this music. Don't want to get too sidetracked. Forget the flow I was flowing with. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so this is an A, this is a D. I want to try something else. I'm sorry to make it a platformer scene. Cool, man. 
That's awesome. I wonder if this thing can even make, let's do a higher A. I'm not sure if you can even hear sounds that are. All right, let's see what that sounds like with a little bit of melody. Okay, that's totally the wrong, wrong notes, wrong notes. Wrong timing too, but definitely wrong notes. Those E's do not fit in here. Let's stick with the same scheme of D's and A's. Lime Studios, what controller do you test with? I use a Xbox controller, mostly, for testing. I've also got a Super Nintendo controller. I need to get a PlayStation 4 controller. I really need to get a PlayStation 4 controller to test with. And um, I should just order one today. I'll order one tonight after the stream. Um, what else is Gary controller to have to test your games with? Steam controller, you could also get a Steam controller. <laughs> Too much melody. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I like this, I like this. I wonder if I can get a cool sweep to go through this as well. So if I sweep it down from like a higher A down to a lower A, hopefully this has some glide on it so I can actually hear this. It does, but it needs more glide. So this particular noise right here, you can hear it go But I want that to be a lot glidier. More glide! Gliding it up! Yeah. You got the Xbox One and the 360 and PS4? Nice. Yeah, Nintendo controller. I don't know. I don't... Does anybody really use a Nintendo controller with their computer? If anybody does, please let us know so we can... We can test our games. Okay, glide. I always forget where glide is. This might be voicing. Nope. Boss. There it is, glide. <laughs> nice. All right, it's not going long enough though. Such a nice little noise. I like it. I like it. <laughs> ha. Mm, ha. Hmm. I don't know if that really went with the song. And this would be fun if it did something else. Maybe going back down to this, this A. And, gotta make this a little more human.
All right. Let's hear that. Make dubstep. Apart from the classic rumble motors, the Xbox One controller has special rumble motors and the triggers. Do you have a way to trigger those? And will you? I think so. Yeah. I think there's um there's triggers um I mean uh yeah, the the library I'm using has some uh, uh some rumble stuff. I just never written it. I need to add that to the freaking list, man. Thanks for reminding me. Try controller rumble. That's something that needs to be done. Oh, I know, right? What will song we use the triggers for? I think it's going to be more items. <laughs> I know, right? Today's one of those days where I'll probably fill it up a bit. Because tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to an event. I'm, gonna, I'm bringing Songbringer to this event here in San Francisco called uh, Play No, yeah, Play Crafting. Yeah, Play Crafting San Francisco. And uh, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow night. I'll be bringing my stickers. I'll be able, I'll bring in Songbringer so people can play it in person. That's kind of cool, but it's a bit too much. So I'm gonna make a copy of it. This is all the way up at this A. Let's try a lower A. Nope, nip. solo the guitar solo will come later it will come later the thing is right now I'm trying to give a lot of the texture for the game in this in the sound um, space room to breathe for lots of effects to play there's so much there's so many effects being played already in the game in any game pretty much you have a lot of different sounds that come at you in the foreground so what I like to do is to really you know, make the background very backgroundy. This is supposed to be background music. This is supposed to, you're not really supposed to notice it. So guitars will come in other kinds of songs, which will be more foregroundy. Okay, this beginning part is got this long <clears throat> I 
I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna need to make another oscillator for this beginning. I want the beginning oscillator to fall off. So let me duplicate this track. Give it the old command E, bam, command E. You've been command E'd. Okay, it's got a nice noise, the with this cool noise, but I want it to come in slower. Let's see if we take off its level. Whoa. giving it that shape. These sounds are massive. <laughs> decay. Way less decay. Way less release. This is not even being used. But it is, it is. Hmm. There's also the two envelope on the filter cutoff. Let's try some different morph. It does affect it a lot. <laughs> I just I'm gonna solo just this noise. That was way too fast. Triangle three point five is gonna be even faster. It's, it's like it's scrabbling to try and be in the foreground. Mmm, nah, that, that kind of made it way more background. Background. It's kind of interesting. That's interesting. Switch. What is this curve? It's so random. <laughs> What? That's way too curvy. That was way, that was really interesting. It's very random. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. That's right. That's right. Never forget it. Knowing is half the battle, especially in programming. Good God. How many times have you struggled with a piece of code until you finally understood what the hell was going on? And then all of a sudden the struggle ceases and everything flows like waters from heaven or the floods.
Yeah, these curved ones are weird, but they're kind of interesting. <laughs> You're bluffing right now to make me bet that you guys... I love the constant trying to make each other bad stuff and give each other points. Trying to trying to take each other's points too. Give each other negative points. It's hilarious. This last one, this extreme one was kinda neat. Okay, let's hear this song from the beginning now. It's got plenty of sub. Imagers over capacity! I'm trying to blend these two sections together better. Aha! If I were to blend these two together better, these two notes would need to be deleted and will help, maybe. And let's see if we take these two notes and decrease their velocity. I put his mind, it's real! Ooh, ooh. Okay, so there's this bit of the sound that goes past there. Turn that off so it doesn't conflict with these other noises. Okay, let's hear that from this beginning of the, this little part here and this symbol what is this symbol what is what sound is generating the symbol noise oh that's right it's just pure noise I wonder if I oh I don't really want to change this I'm gonna make an alternate symbol track for this beginning. At the very least, these should be. Zyger, what's up? The sound still going? Very good, very good. Okay, this needs to be at least sort of alternating pattern. So what if I went one to two Z? Ah! What the hell? 
First of all, what is this? Why is this all the way out? What's this thing? Why does it show me that much of this song? That's better. And let's see if we can give this other alternated symbol pattern a little different color. Actually, I like that color even better. So I'm gonna take this color and even make it closer to that. Okay, I'm missing these noises, these noises though. And I want them to be at least down to 70 and this one down to maybe negative, maybe like 10. Maybe this, this one's 60. But these are, these are important to not get to. Oh no, oh no. What is it doing? I think it just hit its CPU limit there. Hey wizard, think you can get me a press steam key. Of course, for for the press, you mean? Who who is this? Who is this press theme key going to? Oh, for you, for you, the press. What do you need another Steam key for? You got like three of them. Didn't you, wait, you won, you already won one. You bought like two. You want another one? I'll give you another one. Hell, dude, anybody that buys three the game three times deserves another key. Just email me, man. If you're being serious. I noticed the Kappa, I see the Kappa. I'll write an article for my site when Songbird comes out. Yay! Thanks, Lime. You know what? Okay, this is good enough to try in the game. Let's uh, export this audio. All right, I'm gonna make it not mono. Wave 44, 16. Screw the dither. No dithering. And uh, this is gonna go in raw waves. This is a new version for level one sound songy songiness. And then I'm gonna do level two, if this sounds right. Level one, overwrite that, replace. Next time I run the game, it'll create an MP3 version. Don't want that mono. I want the mono for most things, most sound effects, but not for music, nope. Yep. Mono's kinda cool though for music sometimes. You can get a cool sound out of just mono. See, arcade, it's easy getting steep keys from Wizard. I do actually turn people down. I've been, you guys don't see how many people email me for Steam keys all the time, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of people that are like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. 
I got to turn a lot of people down. But I also do give out a lot of press keys to people with YouTube channels that at least have 500 subscribers. That's the thing. I got to turn people down if their YouTube channel does not have... It has less than 500 because people do a lot of scamming out there. There's a lot of people that are like, Hey, I got this YouTube channel, man. You should give me a free copy of your game. Hey, it's me, your brother. Oh, I never knew I had a brother. I'm thinking about buying three or four copies just to get one free. <laughs> uh, uh. Wait, wait. Let's go to the, the part of the level. Oops. Let's turn off this. Okay, this is great. This is great that the game is all faster now, doing way less draw calls, but I don't, I don't want to show the frames per second anymore. And I probably should change it back to 30. I can hear my computer making its little fan noise right now. Oh, too short. Yes. Oh, that worked great. That worked really nice. Yeah, I like that little that little sweepy noise that got in there. Yeah, they're all mine. <laughs> Hugs him. Ah, ha, ha. What are you doing, Bob? What are you doing, Jim? Oh, he was trying to get to me. I love it. I love this new song. This is great. Save it, commit it, push it to master, man. Code. Yeah, what's up? Why isn't my computer using so much CPU right now? It's getting hot. But seriously, what's food? How many should I really consider giving out? Uh, well, I would consider giving out every single copy you can, as long as the person is is someone that you know is either has a press following like some kind of you know like either following on twitter or youtube or a website or something like that give them free copies of them consider them your press track them on your you know your spreadsheet and all that and then um yeah find find as many other ways that you can reward people for steam keys i just i would say give as many as you possibly can but not too much you know you don't want to give away to just everybody and just for anything. You want people to feel like they were rewarded and they earned it or or they bought it. You know, like they they So the thing is it was the the giving out steam keys for your game. Here's the most important thing. You want people to value it. You know what I mean? If you give something somebody something completely for free, they had they didn't put anything into any energy into the exchange. That's when people I think don't value it as much. But if you say, you know, hey, look, here's here's a Steam key for the game. The game's going to be sixteen dollars when it comes out. You're getting this for free. You're you're getting this because you are a streamer and you have a thousand followers on your stream, or you're you're a YouTuber. You have five hundred subscribers or whatever. That's one way to make people value the gift you're giving them. Or you know, like like this, like people are winning Steam keys here on the stream. That's they're going to value it a lot more because they, you know, you guys. Did earn it. You had to save up all those points. You had to watch the stream. Same thing with buying it. If you pre-order the game, you'd put in energy. You put in time. Well, you put in your money, which is your time, basically, in the end. Um, 
And yeah, I don't know, does that help? If you want, I could probably get a pretty popular Israeli gaming channel to cover it. No promises. All right, that'd be sweet. That would be awesome. Yeah. Gotta try Total Biscuit, Jesse Cox, yeah. Total Biscuit, Jesse Cox. Let me add that like, to the list. Oh, it's, see, it's Game Shell that's using so much CPU right now. Ew. Okay, so let me add that. Jesse Cox. What's his name? Total Biscuit? I've already got, you know, some of the other ones on that list. Like, you know, it would be sweet if uh, PewDiePie played it. So I'll put that in my, my spreadsheet later. Okay, so I don't know why it's using so much CPU, but let's just keep going. Okay, so track two. Oh, first let's check in this other track. Game Grumps? Oh yeah, Game Grumps. I think Game Grumps is on my list already. But I'll make sure they are on my list. Especially the party room. Nerd cubed, all right, all right. Nerd cubed. Cool, thanks for the recommendation, guys. Thank you, guys. Cobalt streak. All right. I can't make any promises that these people will actually ever play the game, but I will try. I'll try and see if they, you know, they're into it. Doesn't hurt to try. Get status. Get. Oh, these are all in there. Get commit. Good push. Yeah, <laughs> right? You gotta be critical. You know, say what you, say how you feel about something. Save live set, set as level two, let's do level two's song based on this one. Okay, we need a different, they can't have this background noise though. Okay, let's see what we got to start off with. The half of the 45 minute view is the options menu, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, say what you mean to say. See, there's no texture at all. There's this, I got this sound that I think would work pretty well in here. Waves, I think it's ambience, cliff, or cave. Yeah, so this is like the cave -y noise. Anything. Oh, that's the actual. So yeah, this is much more of a mountainy sound. You can hear the trees swaying in the wind. We go for this cave noise. <laughs> Maybe you play yours. Yes, play with the, play with my options menu for forty five minutes, man. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't really want that. I think I have another place for these. Raw song bringer samples 
Imported. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Maybe it's cave. There. Now it can safely store its file and never lose it. Okay, first thing I want to do is get inspired by level two or level two's art. Oh yeah, tying to a frame rate, definitely. Yeah, same resolution options, right? What's up, Xpixel? Okay, so this is the, yeah, I can't hear this sound right now. In fact, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy. Cave, I'm going to go to raw waves. Ambience cave, copy that to level two. Build. Source when we are doing ambience dungeon. Okay, that's where it sets the ambience, ambience styles, ambience dungeon one. Hopefully that works. Let's see. Okay, so hope, let's see if this works by, we'll make dungeon two. Let's do it like this. Break. You get runs at 500 frames a second? Heck <laughs> yeah. Weekly raises fist. Man, let's turn off Ableton sound engine for a minute. Hopefully that didn't mess up the sound for the stream. Oh, see, it didn't work. We're not getting, okay, what's, set ambience file name should be called for this level. <laughs> I've never seen that emote. Whoa! What? Five, four hundred down to hundred, man. No, I, I don't have a mic. I just have the the laptop's microphone. It's just yeah, just my webcam basically on my on my Apple MacBook Pro thingy. Uh, okay, so what? What ambient style? Style nine. Wow, really got to check out how that got to be nine.
Man, I need to pull this all this code out. But screw it. For now, I'm just going to make this so level 9 plays level 2. I'm not coding right now. I want to make music right now. Music. Your mic is better than my webcam mic. I know, it's actually a pretty good microphone. That's I really I really love Mac Mac hardware. It's really good stuff. Not better than my budget home studio mic. Yeah, I bet you got a good mic, huh? I need to get a good... I mean, I got microphones I could hook up, but, dude, to have my whole microphone set up while I'm trying to stream would be crazy. Still the wrong music. What? Let's play all level two. There. Okay, so let's make some music. Oh, I want to get inspired. Though. That's the whole point of this. I was trying to just get in here to get inspired. Then I got sidetracked. Someone do my homework for me, please. I'm thinking da 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 I'm looking at what note that is. What notes these are. <laughs> Whoa. You just tried to order a mic? Da 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 D C no E D B A E D B A do 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 was it F sharp what F sharp Huh I gotta write these notes down Gotta write these notes down real quick Um E E D E D B A E D B A F sharp F sharp F sharp Done Double chance points to spin If user equals arcane <laughs> Oh you guys so there's a big step in Rocket Bunny games because I made a dynamic sound engine thing. Yeah, Rocket Bunny! Nice job! It's dangerous. The microphone's dangerous. Amazon doesn't like the Netherlands at all? That's, that's not nice. That is not nice. Amazon. Okay, can you guys still hear that? No? Freaking the sound engine already died. Okay. Oh, now the sound engine is totally dead. Oh, no, wait, no, it's just the... Uh, 
Ah, uh, looks like I got to restart the uh, the stream. I'm gonna restart the stream, you guys. It's gonna take a second here, but I'll be right back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the the YouTube video. So YouTube video, sorry guys, sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to restart the stream. So that means that uh, the YouTube video is going to end now. But uh, for for noting for the YouTube video for anybody who's watching tomorrow is. I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow because I'm going to be in an event um, where I'm going to be showcasing Songbringer in person. You can play the game. It's called Playcrafting SFO tomorrow night in San Francisco. And I'll have free stickers. See you guys.